Hi, pre-Ks. Come on in for Reading Thursday. Let's start with group one. What kind of story are we reading today? Oh, I see our old friend, Kitty, I say. There's Kitty ready to get into action. I've got my pointer, and let's rock and read. The title says, A Box for Kitty. All right, we know that the uppercase letters are used in a title except if it's a small word, then you get a choice. You can make it uppercase or lowercase. Look at the picture. Kitty sees a box. All right, this is all about kitty. Kitty is the subject or the noun in the sentence. The verb is sees. That's what kitty is doing. Remember that our action verbs can end with S, like sees, or ER. She's a seer or I-N-G, she is seeing, or E-D, or sometimes Y. Look at the next picture. She jumps in. Oh, you should be able to read that all by yourself. Put a line under she, that is the subject of that sentence. She is a pronoun, it's talking about who? Kitty. Two lines under jump, that's our action verb, jumps. She's a jumper, she's jumping, she jumped, she's kind of jumpy. Look at the next picture. Kitty tries to play. It is too small. All right, we're still talking about Kitty, the subject of that sentence. What is she doing? She's try, try, she's a trier, she's trying. She tried to play. Now the subject is it. It. What is it referring to? Kitty? No. It is too small. Is is the verb. What are they talking about? Oh, the box. <coughs> Instead of saying the box is too small, they used the it pronoun. So they didn't have to write the box. Look at the last picture. What can Kitty do here, oh, W-H, that's our question word, and there's the question mark. Question marks need a question word or they can't work. It's about kitty, and what's kitty doing is the verb. The next line is about kitty, and kitty can. What can kitty do? Get your magic pointer, we're ready to slide, glide, and read. Our title is A Box for Kitty. First picture. Kitty sees a box, second picture. She jumps in, third picture. Kitty tries to play. It is too small. Next picture. What can Kitty do here? Kitty can sleep. They answered the question themselves. Let's think about that story. I'll keep the page close in case we have a question when we're thinking about the story. All right, the question word, circle. Oh, I better circle the answer to each question. What does Kitty find? All right, if your memory is good, you might remember what it is. If not, go back to the text. The answers for all the questions are in the text. What does Kitty find? A box. We're gonna put a ring around a box. Not a fox, not a bag. What does Kitty do at the end of the story? All right, do you remember? Do you remember? If not, go back to the story. You can look at the picture or the text for the answer. Pictures and text can give you the answer. Oh, what does she do? Sleep. Sleep, not play, not jump, but sleep. All right, now the directions say fill in the circles below the pictures that rhyme. We need two rhyming ones or maybe more. We have a box, oh, and a fox, and locks, oh, there we go. Not comb, a box, and a fox, and something that locks <laughs> are all rhyming. And now you get to draw a picture of something Kitty can do when she wakes up. I can't wait to see your pictures. Send them to Max and we'll put them on our wall of good work. Now you can stay and read another story if you like. And remember, these stories all have questions that we are going to answer. We know that the answers come from the text or from the picture 
or they're an opinion, a question that asks our opinion. There's no right, wrong answer for that. Here we go. This is called a train trip. Ooh, TR consonant blends in both words, train and trip. Izzy, Peter, and Nico ride the train. The question says, what kind of animals are Izzy, Peter, and Nico? Well, that's a good question. We don't get that from the text, so we must look at the picture. Well, I see a pig. One is a pig. I'll write the word pig, and I see two turtles, right? Pig and turtles is the answer to the question. Let's go to the next picture. Izzy and Nico look out the window. The question asks, what do Izzy and Nico look out? Well, that's right in the text. They look out the window. The picture can also help you because it shows you the window. The next picture says they see cows on a farm. The question is where, there's our question word, are the cows that they see? You can look at the picture, but the answer is right there, on a farm. There's the answer right there in the sentence. And the last line says, Nico wishes he could drive the train. The question is, is Nico really driving the train? Well, I don't see the answer here in the text. It says he wishes he could drive the train. But if we look in the picture, is that Nico driving the train? No, that's the conductor. So we can put N-O. We found that answer out by looking at the picture. Answers for our questions come from the text, from the picture, or it's an opinion where you can't get it right or wrong. Take your magic pointer finger. Let's slide, glide, and read. The train trip. Izzy, Peter, and Nico ride the train. Izzy and Nico look out the window. They see cows on a farm. Nico wishes he could drive the train. Me too. Let's think about that story. They give us some words that we saw in the story. The first word is ride. Remember the E is silent and gives the vowel power to the I, which gives us the long I sound, ride. We need to circle the word that matches ride. Go across and find it begins with an R and ends with an E. There it is. And let's think of a rhyming word for ride in the I-D-E family. Ride. What would you like to put? Ha 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 hide. That works side with an S. Lots of different words in the I-D-E family. Look at the next word. They saw cow. Cow begins with a C and ends with a W. Oh, there it is. We need a rhyming word for cow. How about how or S, sow or N, now. The last word is terrain with a T-R, T-R, there it is. And we need a rhyming word for train. What should we put at the beginning? R for rain or P for pain. All right, let's look at number two here. It says, what do Izzy and Nicole see outside? Circle your answer. Do you remember what they saw? If not, you can always go back to the story. There they are looking at the cows on the farm. The picture gives you the answer and so does the text. Great reading on Thursday.